right, so this is where we're going to calculate the offset for the taper that I'm going to turn. And this is also the spot or the part um, where all the machinists, the real machinists, are going to cringe. But I mean, I don't want to get too carried away trying to figure out something when it's just a simple taper that's really not a critical taper. So I come up with this simple technique, if you want to call it that. I got a playing card I cut down. I got it resting up against the tool holder, and I'm just holding it, and I'm moving my cross slide in just until it starts to, just until the card starts to buckle, which is right about there. I zeroed out my dial on my compound not on my compound, on my cross slide. And I'm going to back it out 200 thousandths. Now I'm going to move it over to the next groove because that's where the taper is going to meet up to. And I'm going to go back in And it's just about, it's not going to go in two hundredths anymore because this is a little bit thicker in diameter here. So I'm just going to go in the same amount until it starts to buckle. Right about there. And my dial reads 53 thousandths. So in reality it's a 47 thousandths difference between here and here. So I'm just going to move my tailstock out 47 thousandths. And that should give me the taper to connect the bottom of that concave to the bottom of this concave. So let's see how that works. Okay, used my dial indicator to indicate moving this tailstock back 47 thousandths of an inch, which should be giving me the taper that I need here. As you can see, I got the column turning between centers. I put a dog and uh, got a piece of copper just protecting the uh, the aluminum here. So. Uh, well, let's let's go. Let's, let's uh, get this going here. Let's see what happens. Alright, so after browsing through that box of um, uh, high-speed steel tool bits, I come across this nice little, get that in focus for you, I come across this little nice pre-ground piece that came from the previous owner. And uh, it's working out pretty well. So, um, didn't want anybody to miss out on all this excitement. So, uh, I stopped things and got it going again. So, uh, we'll keep plugging away at it.
while back working on the column. This column has uh, got a lot of operations more involved than I originally thought. Everything's turned. Um, so now we gotta. I'll get my diagram here. Alright, so we have a few more operations to do. I hope this is in focus here. Bring this in, get this kind of in focus. So, it's got to get milled out a groove or a notch, and then the side profile is got to get taken down to a quarter of an inch across. So it's half inch stock. So I have the piece of work set up. I indicated it across the front so it's not uh, twisted. It's also indicated this way so it's not going to make a tapered cut and also indicated front and back so it's three axes that had to get adjusted and as you can see this is the setup that I come up with um, it's aluminum I got a sharp end mill in there and we're going to start cutting that so here we go I'll bring in closer for this. To keep this video somewhat short, this is going to be long. I'm going to mill this down um, to, to the scribed line I have here. Do the other side, and when I'm done with these two sides here, I'll bring you back. wasn't too bad. I got both sides here uh, cleaned up, milled down, and now I got to cut the slot where the beam will pivot in. So I'm start hogging that out. Same thing. I'll get most of it done. I'll bring you back later on. Alright, so what's left on this now is we just got to round this uh, top ear. Uh, so I'm just using a sixteenth of an inch uh, drill bit and I'm going to bring this down and I'm just going to inch it up a little bit at a time and it, it'll trim it off and I'll just move the table over a little bit each time so I'm not taking too big of a cut. and you got to be careful that you conventional mill here and not climb mill. So uh, you don't want to grab and spin it out of your hand. So I know there's a bunch of safety people out there that are going to cry about this, but don't want Taking a little bit.
bit more. And that's it. I'll clean everything up. And I believe this beam is done. Oh, a column is done. So. Alright, well, I guess the next thing we'll be working on is, um, I don't know if I'm going to do the flywheel yet, or maybe I'll start working on the beam itself. So, I hope to see you guys back soon. Thanks for watching.